Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Node.js tutorial for beginners. In the last video, we have seen how we can send a HTML page using uh, readable streams and writable streams in Node.js. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how we can send a JSON to the browser using Node.js, right? So JSON, uh, you know, most of the, you know, server application uses JSON as a data to send it to the browser and this uh, data can be passed on the browser side for example and then uh, it can be used for uh, you know multiple purposes so it's also a popular technique uh, that json is uh, sent uh, from the server to the browser and then uh, with this json data some useful things can be done so let's get started and see how we can use json and we can send json to the browser so i'm using the code from the previous example i have removed uh, the readable streams and writable streams uh, code from here because we are not going to uh, use uh, them in this code and we are going to directly use this uh, response variable to send uh, the data using response dot end okay so first of all, uh, we need to change the content type, right? So here, previously we were sending the text forward slash HTML, but because we want to send now the JSON data, so you just need to write application forward slash JSON, okay? And then uh, this means that uh, we want to send the JSON data and browser will be able to pass this JSON data uh, appropriately, right? Now in the next step, we will create a JSON object. So you can uh, use a JSON file for that, or you can create a JSON object using uh, the code also. So I'm going to uh, create my JSON object using the code, but this can be done also using the JSON file. So you can create a JSON file here and read this JSON file and then convert it to, uh, for example, a stream and then send it to the browser, right? So let's create a JSON. So var, for example, JSON obj for JSON object. And inside this uh, brackets, we can uh, add some elements to the JSON. So what elements we want? For example, we want the name, some name, and name can be max and then the surname for example and this can be something and the age for example age can be 26 okay so this is our json object and this we want to send it to the browser so we can simply use this response uh, variable and then call a method called end which we have been using in the previous video also so just write end and then you just pass your json object here but uh, this code will not work because uh, the browser or whatever you want to send using this method it only uh, takes the streams or the string as an argument and this is our object so we want to convert this uh, JSON object to a stream. And how we can uh, do this? We can do this uh, using a method called json.stringify, which will uh, convert our uh, JSON to a string, okay? So this is the method, json.stringify, which takes a argument. You can uh, see the details here. So it takes a object as an argument, which can be a JSON, right? So this is our code and uh, first this object will be converted to a string and then using this method, it's going to be sent to the browser. So let's uh, run our server first of all, and it has uh, some error. So let's see what the error is. So the error is instead of equal to, I need to use this colon, yeah? And once again, run the code and then use the browser to see the response and you can see our response json is here right i'm going to make it a little bit bigger so this is our response json 
Now in order to inspect this, you can uh, just right click on your browser and then click inspect in Google Chrome. I think this is the same option inspect element or inspect, right? So click this and then go to a tab called network. Okay, so go to network here and you need to reload our page. So you can click this reload button and you can see uh, it has the status 200, which we are sending from the code, this code, right? And then we will see the content type also. So just click on this, uh, uh, you know, get method and you can see uh, here the content type is application forward slash JSON. So this is sent using this code. And then when you go to the response here, response tab, this tab, you can see uh, this JSON is passed and shown in a formatted way, right? So in this way, you can send a JSON to the browser using Node.js. Okay. And this is also a very useful technique. Whenever you want to, uh, you know, send some dynamic data to the browser, uh, for example, you want to fill some uh, table using this JSON data, then you can do this, right? Because you can pass this JSON data based upon the elements and values, right? So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe and bye for now.